Hey y'all, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Um, give me a minute, give me a moment. It is Friday and I'm just leaving. Actually, this is my second store that I'm, I'm leaving. I went to Target and I was looking for some um, mirrors because I want to do a mirror wall. Y'all, when I say I've been doing so much searching and looking for the best prices and how much should I spend on this item or do I want to spend more on these I decided that I want to do a mirror wall and I'm going to do it in the living room I um I actually rearranged the living room like two weeks ago so I rearranged it and I'm thinking about selling a few of our pieces like our entryway table and I don't want to sell the TV console because it's not in that best of shape is um, the legs were broken off when we moved to the house but I still used it because it, it was just the legs so um, I don't want to sell that because it's not in the best shape but we Brian took I said we not we Brian took the TV down in the living room and I feel like I need a blank canvas um i didn't i haven't taken down everything but we don't have that many guests anyway uh so it really really doesn't matter y'all know that i'm trying to redecorate so um yeah i'm gonna take my time of course um i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna buy any big things until probably the beginning of next year because we are going out of town and you know you know um and of course i still don't really know i do have some things in my amazon cart but i still don't have like a clear vision so i don't want to be uh like buying any of the big furniture um what i mean by big is we're not giving away or selling our couch uh but i do want a new um entryway table and what else was I looking at? Mm -mm. A coffee table because we did not have a coffee table before. Um, but I don't plan on I don't plan on putting the TV back in the living room, so I'm just gonna get a coffee table because you know it won't it won't necessarily need to be that much space in there. The only reason I didn't have one before is because we had a TV in there, and I knew that you know we'd be sitting in there sometimes, so. I didn't want to like crowd the space but now that the TV is not going to be in there anymore I'm going to get a coffee table so that's what I mean by like big furniture items um, I do have a few in my Amazon cart already that I'm like getting at and I've made um, like a living room list and like shopping list and then a entryway list I just want to do everything over <laughs> I just want to do everything over um, so that's what that's what I'll be doing y'all and I don't know how long it's gonna take but I'm gonna take my time I'm not gonna rush it I do know that when we first moved in that house um, I did not get to do a lot of decorating in the living room I just basically like moved all the items that we had in the apartment in there and I didn't do I mean I bought a few things but it wasn't like any of the big furniture items so I want to do that and I think this will be the perfect time to do it you know we're going into a new year I've made a lot of changes Brian has made a lot of changes as far as like mindset and just a whole lot of things so um, we're gonna put these mirrors up I do have some of the double-sided tape so I'm hoping that that would help if not then we'll have to figure something else out but we're gonna see we're gonna try first my husband wants two fish sandwiches okay, thank you 
It's still fast food, but it's fast money too. Take all your money real fast. I was about to go home and make a grocery order. I already have it on Instacart. I told Brian I'm gonna start having our uh, grocery delivered because I feel like it's a luxury and I want that luxury. I already have my cart ready. I just haven't made the order yet, but I'm gonna do that today because I'm getting kind of tired of spending a lot of money on fast food. Um, so we were like, Okay, we're not going to eat any more fast food, but we do like to like go to restaurants and try new restaurants and stuff. $25 for two fish sandwiches and a um, impossible meal. Two fish sandwiches and a meal. Thank you. You too. Okay, let's go home. We are trying to make a lot of changes. <laughs> <sighs> Some changes are harder to get used to than others. But I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Y'all, I burnt my neck over here. <laughs> I burnt my neck uh, using my uh, wand curler. I was trying to curl my little pieces back here. And yeah, it got me. I got me. I, I got it. I was so afraid that I was going to get it. And that's what I got burnt groceries just came as brian was pulling off to go to work so i have everything here and i'm so happy because some of the things that they said they were going to need to substitute they actually had it so this was actually one of them and then my bread i didn't want the kind of bread that they had for me to substitute this with so i'm happy they had it so let me take all this stuff out of here and i'll give you guys a little grocery haul i like my little pony like messy ponytail curls. I wash my hair and then I put some uh, big, the big rollers in my hair. I should have put the smaller ones um, because I was going for a more tighter look, but I put the, I put the big ones um, and just left the front out and then put the back up. I think it's so cute. It's so different. I've never had my hair like this before, but it's cute. Anyway, um, what was I about to say? Let me just take these out of the bag. This refrigerator. I'm gonna take these out of the bag and show you guys what we got. Oh, I was about to say, I haven't ordered groceries. I was looking on Instacart and I haven't ordered groceries since December of 2022. So it's been almost a year. It's been almost a year. And um, yeah, I think this is this will be the move from now on because i didn't have to go into the store and then although i do like going in the store to grocery shop um i think i only like doing that because i get to see like other things but then that's not always good because i go in there picking up other things that i don't necessarily need so i just had a grocery list put it on instacart through aldi and um this is what we got i actually prefer fresh shrimp but we got the frozen today we got the frozen this time all right y'all let me see if i can finish this grocery haul before my camera dies on me so i have some cheese sticks right here mozzarella cheese sticks um these protein burgers um soy based veggie burgers and these meatless meatballs uh some crab cakes these look so nice and thick, don't they? They look so nice. Um, some tilapia, two bags of shrimp right here, uh, some pink salmon, French toast sticks, a few snacks back here. I haven't been buying that many snacks, but we have some chips, kettle chips, jalapeno, and the sea salt and vinegar, some oatmeal pies. I love oatmeal pies. And then some chips ahoy cookies, um, French toast sticks. Did I say that already? Texas stove. Texas toast garlic bread, um, some spaghetti noodles. Got some heavy whipping cream for my homemade Alfredo. Ooh, 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 for my uh, for the seafood pasta, so good. Um, some banana nut bread. My sister bought some of this and it was so good. So yeah, I had to get my own. Um, croissants, 
spinach, shredded lettuce. I'm gonna do some burritos. So some tortillas, two bags of the Caesar salad kits. Some cheese back here, Mexican style. I love Mexican style. I cannot get with, what is it, what is it, what is it? The sharp cheddar. I do not like sharp cheddar. Like I was saying before the camera cut off on me, I do not like sharp cheddar. I think it's just a little bit too sharp for me. So I always get Mexican, Mexican style or just the regular cheddar, but we just got Mexican style today. Some green onions, not green onions, green peppers. Uh, tricolor peppers, some tomatoes, some uh, cabbage, tomato pico de gallo, a cucumber for, um, I want to make a uh, salmon salad. I had a salmon salad in uh, Pennsylvania from Longhorn and it was so good. So that's the reason why I got this cucumber and um, what are those tomatoes? These tomatoes right here to go on my salad because it was, I want to make it just like them. It may not taste just like theirs because it's going to taste better. <laughs> um, some mashed potatoes in the bag. Yes, I know how to make homemade mashed potatoes, but when I want to do something quick and when I don't want to be in the kitchen for too long, we're going to use these. We got some kidney beans. I got two of those. I have a recipe in mind for these. And some black beans, have some minced garlic, tomato basil sauce, olive oil, ranch dressing, and some orange juice, strawberry lemonade, and then strawberry kiwi, and then some cheesy breadsticks back here. Cheesy breadsticks, and then a large pizza, and then some Arizona green tea. And that is our little grocery haul that will last us um i got a few meals in here i got a few meals in here so i'm proud i'm happy oh wait so um my eggs one of them was cracked but i mean there's no way they could have known because it was cracked, cracked from the bottom open from the bottom so they'll still get a good review but yeah i have my eggs and that's it now that's it for the grocery haul I just got back from a um, natural hair beauty and health expo i found this event on eventbrite um it was 20 bucks to attend that's why i have this wristband on my arm i went by myself it was for a couple of hours i got there like maybe two hours after it started so it was nice they had i think this was the first year that they've had something like this here in tallahassee so um yeah and the lady told me that they were from st louis but of course they had vendors from tallahassee as well but the first well this is not the first company that i stopped at but i purchased some whip body butter and they had samples that you can get this business is called body butter bakery and they have a website as well I'll show you guys the card the card is down here somewhere but they had so many kinds of whip body butter and this is the strawberries what is it strawberries and cream y'all 
it smells so good and i have champagne apple and honey right here my favorite was the strawberry and cream and they have birthday cake right here too it goes on so smooth i just want to show y'all how smooth this goes on get me doing a free promo free promo <laughs> No, but I really like this body butter. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Ooh. 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 So I purchased, that was the sample. I did go ahead, I did go ahead and purchase the uh, strawberries, and, strawberries and cream one because I love it so much. And these are an ounce, an ounce bottles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh goodness oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness i can't wait to use that it smells so good yeah that was 15 bucks i'll show you guys the card right now here's the business card their info right here if you guys want to check them out it went on so nice it smells good and i love me a nice body butter i also purchased something else for my body this is hair and body oil and the scent is Coco Mango. Y'all, they had so many scents to choose from. And oh, it smells so good. What really sold me is that I can use this on my lock. Great for refreshing um, braids, locks, twists, freestyles, and your body. So it smells really good. The owner also does locks as well. And I love her locks. They were so nice. And she also has like the gray hair going around her edges. Kind of made me feel better about mine. <laughs> Here's their business card. I don't know if it's close up. Okay, so um, they also gave some samples as well. Mango and lime. This Jamaican mango and lime. Um, leave in moisturizer. Two of them. And yeah, y'all. Um, I found this event on Eventbrite. Like I said, uh, last week so I was like okay I have a week to prepare to go by myself and to also like um, socialize with people I saw another event as well it was for candle making but that one was on Saturday today is Sunday that one that one was yesterday so I was like mm, I already paid for the natural hair and beauty expo and I was like mm, should I go to this that means that way I'll have something to do all weekend because Brian's out of town for work and he actually comes back today so um I decided not to do the candle making because who am I kidding like if I would have went to that yesterday I probably wouldn't have made it to the expo because it probably would have been a little too much for me just a little too much for me so um I had already paid for the expo so I'm happy that I did um i got some nice body items i love stuff like this because i love doing self-care one of my favorite things to do i got some new self-care items i went someplace by myself <laughs> and i attended you know something something new that i've never been to um as you guys saw it, this was their first year like i said so as you guys saw it wasn't a lot of booths they had like three rows three i can't remember if it was three rows or not and a lot of black owned businesses that was my sunday i have to go pick up brian in like two hours i want to show you guys my mirror wall that i did so let me show you guys that okay, the tv is in here from the living room as well here is the mirror wall y'all i used one two three four five mirrors I couldn't go anymore that way so i just kept it right here in the middle the couch i moved the couch as well it's this way i took that down it was up here and yeah i've been changing around a few things uh a little little by little kind of like a clean canvas i wanted to take these pillows down and like scrub this couch with my little green machine um, i'll get to that but i'm gonna put like i'm gonna buy some black pillow covers and i'm gonna get a behind the couch table to go behind the couch because i want to add a few things on it like pictures or like vases move back a little bit so this is the first thing that i've added to my little home decor makeover what have you go <laughs> to my walk past the living room now i look at myself so i still have our console here um it's just gonna stay like this until i slowly but surely 
uh, change things around, y'all. I'm back in Walgreens. I noticed that this coupon right here expires today, which is the 5th. So I'm going to use it, spend 25 get $7 back in Walgreens rewards. And then I'm going to use my $5 registry reward. So I know I have a whole couponing channel, but I don't want to post on there and not like be fully ready to um, get back to sharing couponing deals. So, um, you know, just think of it as like a little treat for those of you that are still here with me. Okay, so I'm going to do this deal right here. One of these, these are $4.50 this week buy two get three and we have a three dollar digital coupon for this and then we also have another three dollar digital coupon for the mouthwash i'm gonna scan it just to be sure so you can get the mouthwash for this coupon the other three dollar coupon or you can get a toothbrush but um i'm just gonna get this mouthwash do they have another kind that i can get I'm just gonna get this one. I was gonna end the video at me showing you guys what I got from the expo, but I realized that that coupon was expiring, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and share with them what I'm getting this week at Walgreens. And I don't even really like Walgreens like that when it comes to couponing, but you know, um, you know. So I'm gonna get. I'm looking for the Cottonelle. This one right here. This is priced at ten bucks. I'm gonna get this and I have a three dollar digital coupon for this one so I'm at nineteen dollars and I'm gonna get some Scott tissue I wish there was a deal on paper towels but these are five we have a one dollar and twenty five cent IVC coupon um, and then we have a one dollar digital coupon as well I'm gonna get some paper goods, some more paper goods. I'm gonna grab one of these Dawn Power Wash as well, but I don't want that one because it's smushed. Let's get the one in the back. These are priced at actually $4.99. That's what the app says. You see, but I have a $2 coupon for this. I'm gonna grab a little filler item. And the cheapest I see are these Starburst lollipops. So let's grab one of these. So y'all, <laughs> everything went so well. I think Walgreens is calling my name again. Y'all know that me and Walgreens had like a love-hate relationship. Um, sometimes they would act right and then sometimes they would act like they didn't know who I was and what I was coming for. Um, but I got some paper towels, or oh, this is not paper towels. I got some tissue. The Cottonelle, the Cottonelle and the Scott. And all of my coupons came off fine. And then I picked up some toothpaste and mouthwash. I got Starburst Lollipop for a filler item, then some Dawn Power Wash, y'all. I don't know, I've never done like, like in-depth couponing on this channel. So it feels kind of weird, but like I said, I don't want to put a video up over there on my couponing channel if I'm not really sure or not really ready to go like jump all the way in all necessities we're not going in there to pick up things that we don't need why do people park right by why do they do that why do people park right next to you when the parking lot is like empty is it because like there's a space field and it's easier to park? I don't know but so weird it's so weird to me here's my receipt guys i've never shown you guys a coupon and receipt on here on this channel here's my receipt all of my coupons that came off all of them came off and my total was 1074 for everything my total before coupons was 28.99 i still got it okay my seven dollars in walgreens points three dollar register reward for buying the colgate no problems smooth transactions what i live for so now i'm going to end the vlog hope you guys enjoyed it we got some couponing done we got some decorating um done i you know did something new today and um what else like, did, did i do in this vlog i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed it hit the notification bell <laughs> like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't all right Love y'all, King Crew. Bye.